Got you guys got another video here for you on how to clean up and speed up your Windows 10 performance. Now there's quite a few ways of doing this and the best way of doing this is using a script to remove a bunch of stuff from Windows 10. The stuff that actually slows up Windows 10's performance and uses a lot of resources. Now the script we was talking about the other night on our Discord server is called Farag's uh, Windows 10 setup script now what this is designed to do is basically you run this once you've done a fresh install of windows and it will disable a bunch of uh, features that you don't need or most people don't need now the reason why i say most people don't need is because there may be things inside here that you do need and this is why you should always be cautious before running any type of script on your computer because it will start removing things and disabling things now you can see the script is to set up Windows 10 LTSC, 1903, 1909, and 2004. And when you go down here, it will tell you some facts about this script here, and it will tell you it, it does over 150 functions on it. It also tells you that it's best running this script on a fresh install, and uh, some third-party antivirus programs will flag this script as malicious and that's because of the nature of this and it is classed as a false positive so that's what we class it as here which means it's safe to run and that doesn't necessarily mean that you should just run it and listen to what i'm telling you you should actually read the script and understand what it's actually doing so i wanted to take a bit of time to make sure uh, that you understand all of this before we run it so you can see here these are the core features of this script you can see it will uh, do a bunch of different stuff like uh, set up a uh, privacy and telemetry turn off any diagnostic tracking and also a bunch of other stuff uninstall onedrive now of course if you use onedrive you would need to comment that out to stop it from removing it otherwise you're going to end up uninstalling onedrive it's that simple if you don't know how to do all that sort of stuff then you're probably best leaving this script well alone so let me go ahead and get this downloaded. You will need to go to the file here, or you can click on download zip here. And once you've got this downloaded, you should have this on your desktop here. I'm going to right click on this and extract all. And we're going to extract it to our desktop. This is it here. So we're going to go inside here. Now inside here, you'll see a bunch of different scripts here. So what you can do here is look for the version of Windows that you're running. To do that, it's quite simple. You need to go down to the search and type WinVer and then run this. And then you will see what version you're running. So you can see version 1909. So you need to then run that version of script on your computer. You can see here, there is a little batch file here. If I edit this batch file, run anyway it will tell me what this batch file is going to do it's going to basically run this and then give us the ability to run this script here so let me go ahead and do this here so i'm going to right click on this and run this as administrator and this will open up this box here and basically restore point to create a restore point i'm going to you can either create do not create or skip. So I'm going to definitely create one here and push enter. And this will then go ahead and create a restore point. This is important just so you can always roll back if something goes wrong. But again, if you don't know how to run uh, these scripts or know how to edit them, then don't use them. So you can see it's going to go through and do a bunch of different stuff here. So def uh, default window mode to choose a color for your default window mode, enter the required letter. So you can see here, light, dark, skip. And uh, we can uh, change this to dark. So I'm gonna go dark here. And again, default app mode to choose the color for default app modes. You can choose this as well. I'm gonna go D again. And this will go ahead and literally make a bunch of changes on your computer so it's going to uninstall onedrive at this stage here so just be careful here if you want one onedrive you will need to make sure that you hash uh, that out or comment it out inside the script before you run it otherwise it will remove it so warning clone 
closing all running programs before proceeding. And you can see here, it just gives you some instructions. So we can change, skip, and you can see here, you can make that uh, change here. So I'm gonna uh, skip this one here. So I'm gonna just push S for skip. And we'll let that run. Now basically that's just gonna run ahead and do that. So you will get this popping up here now. And again, you can turn some of these off. So to uninstall these, you would leave the tick inside there. To leave them on the system, you would uh, remove the tick. So you can see here, it's got hello face. If you use this, then obviously you would remove these ticks. But if you want to remove them, you can basically leave the ticks inside here. Once you've got all these in, you can then click uninstall. So it will be clear there. If you've left the tick in, it's going to uninstall them. So I uninstall those. Now you may have a bigger list of items on there if you haven't done a fresh install of Windows, but this is a clean install. So here we are now. So it's put us in this area here and you can see it's turned all of these off here apart from Microsoft Store and Windows Security. That's what it's done. So we'll leave that as is. And you can see here, it's give us files will not be moved to change the location of the desktop folder enter the required letter so you can do that here i'm going to skip this one and again files will not be moved but you can change this if you wish but let me just skip this here and you just need to skip these areas here and let that finish off. So that's going to go ahead now and finish those off for us. Okay, start menu tiles. This to unpin all of the start menu tiles, enter the required letter. So you can do unpin, skip. So I'm going to unpin all of these because I don't really want to have any tiles pinned. So I'm going to unpin all of those. And once that's done, that will basically uh, move on to the next stage. Now we've got this here. So this is a UWP packages to uninstall. So if you're using Xbox here, you can leave this unticked. But if you're not using Xbox, I'm not going to be using it on this machine here. So I can remove all of this, but if you are going to be using it, then you definitely want to remove that tick there. So I'm just going to remove all of this uh, from here. So you can see Windows Photos, I'll leave that on there. And also we'll just remove any of this other stuff here that I don't want. Calculator I will leave on there. Uh, sticky notes I won't use. And this one I won't use either. So you can see here, there's quite a bit of stuff here. I've left calculator and Windows Photos. All the rest I'm going to remove here. If there is any other bits on here that you want to keep, then by all means uh, do so by just removing the ticks. And then I'm going to say uninstall, and it will remove all of those from the system as well. Now this is great if you are just setting up a computer and you just want to rem uh, just reinstall uh, Windows and you want to remove all of the stuff that you don't uh, need on that system and it just gives you a nice clean uh, setup so you can see graphics uh, performance uh, per preference here now if you want to add something in you can add it in by clicking add here but I'm going to skip this bit because this is just a tutorial but you would literally if you want to add an app you can click add and this will give this high performance so whether it be a game or something like that, uh, you can give this a high performance setting, but I'm going to skip it and push enter. And it's going to go ahead and clean up a bunch of different stuff here. As you can see here, software distribution and a bunch of other areas, uh, controlled folder access and add protection, add protected folder. So if you want to add a protected folder here, you can do so. 
you would just click on the A button to add a protected folder. So say for instance, you had a protected folder in your C root directory or on your desktop. Uh, you can do that if you want to by pushing add. So if I push A, it will basically add a protected folder and you will just navigate to that. I'm going to skip that process. And uh, again, Windows Defender to execute folder from Windows Defender Antivirus. Okay, so let me just quickly skip that as well. So yeah, so I'm just gonna get rid of those. That's done. And that's it. So now the script has finished running. You can already see it's already made a massive difference here uh, from the system. So let me just exit out of this. Oh. Would help if I type that correctly. So let me just exit out. And basically what you're looking at here is it's removed all of the tiles here. It's just left these ones in here, which are quite useful to get access to. Again, on the right click here, um, we've got this reduced down a little bit here. Remove the search box as well. And all this other stuff here has all been removed. Bunch of other stuff has been removed as well. Again, what you can do here, if we go into, let's have a look inside privacy. You can see the dark theme has been enabled here. You may still need to go in here and turn off some of these features that you don't want. Uh, but most of these you can see inking and typing personalization. It hasn't done some of these. And you can see it has made a bunch of uh, settings here and you can just remove whatever needs to be removed. But pretty decent cameras left on here. So if you want to turn this off, you can do. These are just for your privacy settings. You would basically go through. If you don't use your camera on that machine, you can turn it off altogether. Again, the microphone has been left, and this will be due to whatever you want to use your microphone on. Voice activation. If you don't need voice activation, you can go in here and turn it off. Again, notifications. You can run other programs as well after you've done this, which I would advise you to do. I'm just going to go through here and literally just check some of these settings. So I've just gone in and checked and made sure all of these are off because I don't want these app diagnostics or anything like that running on the system. So you, basically a lot of this stuff in your privacy area here, you want all of this uh, turned off basically, apart from your microphone. Now another little tool you can use is this one here, Shut Up 10, you just download this. And this will just make sure that we've got all of the other areas finished off here. So I'm just gonna quickly download this one And we can uh, run this here straight away. And here we go. So under the actions area, you can apply all of the recommended settings here. These are the safe settings that you can do. So I'm just going to apply these and say, do you want to create a restore point? I'm going to say yes. And let that create a restore point here for me. And we're just going to apply all of those. And you can see now it's applied these. Now, any sort of other areas to disable, you can literally go in here and add a few extras in if you want to. So it's left off the main ones like microphone and camera, you can see, and a bunch of other bits and pieces. But you can go through here. This is just in case you're using these features. But if you're not using them, then you can also toggle these off and on to suit your needs. As you can see. Very simple and easy to do. So suggestions here, there's a bunch of other stuff. I would leave smart screen filter on. And uh, there's pretty much all the other stuff is gonna be disabled here. And again, there's no installation with this program. It will just literally um, ask you to restart Windows because we've made changes and then when you come back, these changes will be made. And again, there's no installation for this. And that's pretty much it. All the settings have now been set and done. 
Now, if you're worried about your search box here, don't worry too much. You can just click on the start button and start typing and it will give you that search box here. It's just hidden. It saves you having to see that search box rather than worrying about that. So all you need to do here is just type whatever you want to type with the uh, box open, like reg edit, like, like this, and it will come up with the registry editor, as you can see. Okay. Anyway, that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can clean up and speed up your performance on Windows uh, 10. This will also make changes to your services as well and a bunch of other settings. If you had Windows 10 Pro, you could then easily go into Group Policy Editor and make a few more changes and also make those final uh, tweaks inside the services area and other little areas like that. And you should have a super fast Windows 10 operating system compared to what it is straight out of the box. Now, we'll point out uh, with this script, I just want to show you something here. Like I said before, if you don't know how to edit these files or you don't know how to look at these and comment these out, then you're going to obviously disable stuff that you may require. There is a lot of stuff inside here that this script is going to be doing. So you just need to make sure that you're happy with what it's going to be doing to your system. If not, you need to hash it out and stop that from doing it, okay? Otherwise, it will start to run and remove those features or disable them. So if you don't know how to read these scripts, this is exactly what this script is. This is what it's running. Uh, then leave it well alone. OK. Anyway, with that said, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out. Have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.